Our second example, when they say find all values of theta, we're doing trig equations. Um, when I see this, this is one of those where it might be helpful to let u equal something. Um, and I could say, well, let u equal cosine of theta. Therefore, u squared would be cosine squared. So I can rewrite this and say, well, this is 4u squared plus 4u plus 1 equals 0. And this is something that's a little easier for me to factor. Um, and this factors to 2u plus 1, I think, quantity squared. Let's see. Um, yes, yes. So in other words, now I have to come back and put u, um, put the cosine theta back in. So I have 2 cosine theta plus 1 squared equals 0. And that tells us that 2 cosine theta plus 1 has to equal 0. Therefore, cosine of theta will equal a negative 1 half. When I think about my unit circle, cosine is the x value, and I want to know when does x equal negative 1 half. And that's here at that's this one and this one. That is 2 pi over 3 and 4 pi over 3. But since they said find all values, we need we have infinitely many solutions. So we're going to say theta is equal to 2 pi over 3 plus 2 pi k. And theta is equal to 4 pi over 3 plus 2 pi k, where k is an element of the integers.